Hola y bienvenidos a otra lección del Español 2. Ok, this lesson, muy importante, es súper importante, es hiper importante, es uber importante. You need to know this for Spanish too. In this lesson, we are introducing the past tense. Now, before we go anywhere else with this, let me just reinforce. This is important. Okay. Um, before we get going in this, I just want to introduce a few words that you might hear as we do this. Okay, a few phrases that are very common. Palabras útiles. Um, like utility means it, it can be used for many things. I, I think of a utility knife. It can be used for many things. Um, útil, very useful. Palabras útiles. Esta mañana. Esta mañana. Well, we already know this as a demonstrative adjective. And we already know that mañana means tomorrow. But when you say la mañana, it's the morning. So, esta mañana, this morning. Now, uh, I got a little lag on the board today. Okay, this morning. So, you can also say esta noche, esta tarde, esta. Okay, another, another one we're going to be using a lot. Anoche. Now, a lot of people, when they first learn this word, they know that a means to, like, voy a la biblioteca, I go to the library. But anoche does not be, mean tonight. That would be esta noche. Anoche means last night. Anoche, last night. Anoche yo dormí siete horas. Anoche yo comí espaguetis. Anoche. Okay. Our next one. Ayer. Ayer, yesterday. Yesterday. Ayer, yesterday. And our last one, the last one that we're going to be using is actually a phrase, el blank pasado or la blank pasada. For example, el mes pasado, el mes pasado, mes is month. So past month, the past month. In English, we would call that last month. El mes pasado. Okay. Or, la, let's do it with la, la semana pasada. Semana, of course, is a week, so last week. Okay, la semana pasada. These are a few phrases that we're going to be, like I said, that we're going to be using over the next uh, year. So, phrases that we're, we're going to be using, phrases we should know. Esta mañana, this morning, anoche, last night, ayer, yesterday, la semana pasada, last week. Ok, amigos. El pretérito. El pretérito. We need to know el pretérito. First of all, what is the preterite? When Señor Norton says preterite, what are we talking about? Well, the preterite is a tense used to describe actions that were completed in the past. It's a past tense. Um, it, when we study this stuff, we're going to talk about, you know, their actions that have defined beginning, defined end. We use it in this case, in that case, blah, 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 because there are different pre past tenses. Oh, senor, different past tenses. Oh, no. Spanish is terrible. We do it in English, too. I ran. I was running. I used to run. I had been running. Um, I, ha I have run. We've got so many past tenses in English, too. We just don't think about it as native English speakers, for those of you that are native English speakers. Um, but it's a past tense that's used to describe actions in the past. In class, I'll often refer to it as BAM. I hope I woke you up with that one. Because BAM are the actions that are completed in the past. I shut the door. I put down my pencil. It's not something you used to be doing, something you were doing. It's something that BAM was done. So BAM is the preterite. You'll hear more of that later. Basically, it's, again, it's a tense used to describe actions that were completed in the past. Okay? So how do you conjugate in the preterite? What's the difference between present tense, o, as, a, amos, an, e, o, s, e, emos, en, o, s, e, imos, en? So how do you conjugate in the past tense as opposed to this present tense that we've been doing for so long? Well, it's pretty much just like the present tense, but we just have a different set of endings. Instead of that o, as, a, we're going to change the endings. So what are those endings? 
How are they going to look? What are they going to look like? Okay, let's take a look first at AR verbs. AR verbs. So if you've got the yo form, you've got an AR verb like ablar, ablar. I say that all gringo because I am gringo. Hablar, to speak. Okay, so we'll drop the AR. And yo hablé. Tú hablaste. Él, ella, usted habló. Here's a good example of why accents are important. Because if you say hablo without an accent, that means I speak. If you say hablo with an accent, it means he spoke, she spoke, or usted spoke. Okay? Nosotros hablamos. Oh, señor, it's the same as nosotros present tense. Yeah. How can you tell the difference? Well, if you say ayer, nosotros hablamos, yesterday we talked, well, you know it's past tense, yesterday we talked. Uh, vos, uh, vosotros is just like the two form, you just add is, hablasteis. Um, ellos es ustedes hablaron. You guys, notice, hablaron, hablaron. A lot of you come in when you want to say hablaron. No, no, hablaron, hablaron. The stress is on that A. Hablé, hablaste, habló, hablamos, hablaron. Ayer yo hablé con mi mamá. Mi mamá habló conmigo. Mi mamá y yo hablamos por teléfono. Mi hija y mi mamá también hablaron. ¿Tú hablaste con un amigo ayer? Hablé, hablaste, habló, hablamos, hablaron. Those are the ARs. Okay, let's head over to the ERs, IRs. Okay, very similar. Uh, let's take a verb like comer. It's a nice short one for me to write up here. Comer, to eat. Again, we drop the ending, and then we add our new ones. Yo comí. Tú comiste. Él, ella, usted comió. Nosotros comimos. Again, vosotros is just like two form, you add the is. Comisteis. Ellos, es ustedes comieron. Now, if you compare it with the ARs, okay, those are the endings. Now, I know that was quick, but we're going to practice it. This is your introduction. Okay, chicos, can I survive Spanish too without knowing the preterites? Well, the answer is pretty simple. No. Okay. We're going to have to know these. So let's buckle down now, get them out of the way now so that we don't spend a quarter or two struggling um, and then finally realize, hey, I better learn these. Let's go ahead and learn them now. Let's do a quick run through again. You tell me, what are the endings? See if you can remember these. Uh, you can use your notes if you want to. AR, yo, e, tu, haste, el, e, usted, habló. I use habla, hablé, hablaste, habló. Nosotros hablamos. Ellos, ellas, ustedes hablaron. Hablaron. Okay, ERs and IRs. Let's hit these real quick. Use your notes. Make sure you can double check your endings. Uh, comer, comer. Let's just do comer again. Yo com mi. Tu com. Miste, el e usted con mío, an accent. Nosotros con mimos, ellos es ustedes con vieron, vieron. Okay, now this means nothing. Charts don't mean much because last time I was in a Spanish-speaking country, I or even talking to somebody here. I wasn't able to go up to somebody and go, hey, I'll see almost auto. They're like, what the heck are you talking about? Now, this, this doesn't really matter too much. What really matters is if we can use it in sentences, if we can use it for real. So let's try a couple of these. How would you say the following in Spanish? Did you study today? Well, estudiar is to study. We don't have to use, 
in Spanish, we don't have to use two verbs. We just use one. We're just going to use the verb study. So basically, you studied today. Okay, check your notes. Check the ending. They are to form preterite. What would it be? You got it? Estudiaste hoy? Estudiaste hoy? Did you study today? Yes, I studied. Check your notes. What would that be? Let's see? I'll throw in the yo just for fun. Let's see, yo estudié. Punto. Did you play a musical instrument today? Yeah, that's lame. Let's do something that goes along with this chapter. Um, did you buy clothes today? Perdón. Did you buy clothes today? Well, to buy is comprar. So, what is it? Compraste ropa hoy. Now, ropa can be used like clothing, so I don't have to make it plural. Compraste ropa hoy. Did you buy clothing today? No, I did not buy clothing today. No. And I'll use yo for fun. No, yo, no. I didn't buy. Yo, no. Compré. I know I try to keep these brief, but it's hard. We've got a lot of information here. Um, I'm going to give the next lesson. I'm going to talk a little bit about some irregulars in the uh, in the preterite, some, some special cases. We'll talk about those in the next one. But what I want you to do, those of you that are my students, you've got an assignment. Your assignment is to write three things that you did yesterday. Remember the word for yesterday? Ayer. A y e r. Ayer. So tell me three things that you did yesterday. All right. There's your introduction to the preterite. You might be coming back to this video two or three times. Es muy importante. Have I told you that yet? Adios.